Andy Lynch was signed by Jock Steen from Hearts for £35,000 in February 1973, where he had made his name as a pacey left winger. He would enjoy a good start for the following season before suffering recurring injuries which hampered his progress as Celtic clinched their ninth title in a row in 1974. Just as it looked as if he might fade out of the picture at Celtic, he enjoyed a new lease of life when he was selected at left back in April of 1975 in a match against St Johnston and retained his place the following week in the Scottish Cup final against the Asri. He made the position his own and was first choice left back for the next four years. He was in many ways the perfect fullback for Celtic, good in the tackle, tireless on the overlap and a good crosser of the ball. He formed a great fullback partnership with Danny McGrain and excelled as Celtic won the League and Cup double in 1976-77. Andy Lynch would write his name into Celtic history in the Scottish Cup final of 1977, scoring the only goal of the game from the penalty spot. The penalty came from a corner kick forced by a clever looking header from the edge of the box by Lynch, which saw the Rangers keeper Stuart Kennedy collide with a defender and the post in a scramble to keep it out. Some sources say this was the first penalty he had ever taken after winning a penalty competition in training during the week, but the man himself told Archie McPherson after the match that he had previously missed two penalties for Hearts. Kenny Dalgleish had missed a couple that season and the normal taker, Ronnie Glavin, was missing through injury. Dalgleish didn't fancy taking the penalty and it was possibly preying on his mind that Celtic never won a cup final he scored in. In any case, Lynch stepped up to the plate and put the penalty away with aplomb. Kennedy guessed correctly and threw himself full stretch across the goal but it was so well placed, hitting the side of the net, that he would never get in there. The following season was a disaster for Celtic, with the departure of Dalgleish and serious injuries keeping out Pat Stanton, That's Alfie Conn and Danny McGrain from most of the campaign. It was a mark of Andy Lynch's standing that he was made captain in the absence of McGrain, a position he held until the great man returned in March 1979. Andy Lynch was a mainstay of the Celtic side in season 1978-79 and he actually finished second top scorer with 13 goals, most of them coming from the penalty spot. Lynch stepped forward confidently, swept the ball up to Ruff's left, Ruff dived to that side, forced the ball down, beat it down bravely, but Lynch intelligently and quickly following up, turned the ball wide of the unlucky thistle keeper. Good opportunism by Lynch. One of the most iconic photographs of the title winning match when 10 men won the league shows Andy Lynch delightedly saluting the crowd in the main stand while Roddy McDonald and George McCluskey pile on top of goal scorer Murdo McLeod. At the beginning of the following season, Alan Snedden forced his way into the first team at right back with Danny McGrain moving across to left back to accommodate the promising youngster. Andy Lynch played for Celtic for the final time in a European Cup match versus Dundalk in October 1979. He left the club in April 1980 to sign for Philadelphia Fury of the North American Soccer League, where he played against the likes of Johan Cruyff, Franz Beckenbauer and Gerd Müller. Andy Lynch was a great servant for Celtic and is indelibly linked to two of the greatest triumphs of the 1970s. <laughs> 